Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World as Persia. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. And yeah, I should sell my extra horse actually. Anyway, I'll be 100% honest. I was considering just ending this game here because I think this game was actually over the moment I met Korea. Because the way Korean unique ability works combined with data AI, they tend to snowball out of control when they are isolated. And they are very isolated right now, from what I can see. Their only real neighbor, if you can even call it that, is Venice. Not even Carthage, honestly. I know they didn't meet Pocatello yet, because I can't even ask Pocatello to declare war, so that means he didn't actually meet Korea. Anyway, policies. I might actually go for honor. I think I will. Because I will have some land battles and honor is quite useful with that. Also, I don't like these troop movements. I think Askia is planning to declare war on me. There's no reason for the AI to keep units around your border other than to declare war on you. So, let's buy some composite bowmen. Let's move this guy, in fact. But I'm going to buy some composite bowmen in this city. I actually need civil service faster. Because the Immortal is pretty useless against Pikeman. He's way too weak. So I need civil service faster. And then I need to upgrade that Immortal to a Pikeman. This location shouldn't be too hard to defend. I do have some hills in front of the city. So I can just position some mid shield units on the hills and then have some composite bowmen behind. Civil service is done and now I can upgrade this guy. He's going to be much more useful as a pikeman. And I think I'll just buy another composite bowman once I can afford it. They won't have a lot of experience. Oh yeah, I can actually buy a pagoda. No, I'm waiting for a great profit. I need 440 gold. I can sell the horses. Will Carthage actually buy them? Okay, yeah, they will. That should be 60 something gold, I think. 67. Alright, accept. Now I can actually afford one more composite bombman. I don't like getting unis without any experience, not even the barracks, but I need some defenses before he declares war on me. It's pretty obvious that he's about to declare war on me. The only time the AI does something like this is when he wants to declare war on you. There's really no other reason. Sometimes when they want to move through your territory, but that's clearly not the case here. Anyway, religion improvement. I'm going to grab this one for my Enhancer Belief. As for my second Follower Belief, the Production Belief seems to be gone. So my options are Souls into Plowshares or Cathedrals. I think I'll grab Cathedrals. I won't have that many cities in this game, so this, this gives me more options to use my Faith for. Alright, let's set up the defenses. Yeah, this is like totally obvious right now. He's about to declare war on me. There's really no other reason. So let's set up the let's set up the pikeman in the front. I can't afford any more composite moments, so this will have to be enough. Watch him declare war right now. Yeah, he did it. This was very easy to read. It's no magic. The AI only does that if he wants to declare war. I sometimes get people asking me how did I know the AI will declare war on me. Well, this is how you know. If the AI has an army right outside of your border, 99% of the time is because he wants to declare war on you. There's no other reason. Let's focus on one unit at a time. This shouldn't be too hard to defend, but that pikeman will probably die. This is too many units. One pikeman can't really hold them off on his own. Maybe if I use heal instantly, if I get enough experience to actually do that, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, let's focus. Oh, maybe I can get allied with Valetta. No, I can't. I don't have enough gold. Okay, never mind. I thought that would be a good idea, because it would be. But I need more money for that, unfortunately. And I can't really sell anything. Nope, well, unless I sell extra copy of silver. But I can't sell it for gold, as opposed to gold per ten. That's going to be Utrecht, quite obviously. I'm still bringing the worker. I can start working a mine. Or building a mine, I mean. He's actually bringing a catapult. I need to get city walls in that city. 
even at the cost of delaying the granary actually but that's 38 turns yeah i need that granary first all right kill the spike man but i'll do that with my composite bomb man and focus on that guy like this and this dude will die all right oh i'm still building a pasture over there okay I'll have to get open borders with someone if I want to keep exploring that area. I could get open borders from Venice and then explore further west. Probably not a bad idea. And yeah, this pikeman will die unless I get heal instantly promotion, like right now. Did I get a promotion? No, I got one on my composite bomb. No, I actually did. So let's get heal instantly and target the swordsman. Kill this guy. Yeah, now I need to target the swordsman. I'll keep asking him for peace because the AI usually starts talking after you kill some units. So I should be able to sign just a regular white piece in reasonable future. Okay, plus one population. 11 pop in my capital now, not too bad. So yeah, these assignments look fine actually, I need more farms. Granary is almost done. Then I'll grab more units, I suppose. I kind of need barracks in my capital. Because I really don't want to train units without barracks. Yeah, I lost one composite bowman, but that was to be expected, more or less. I should be good still. So this guy will die. I'll grab barrage one, I think. That gives me a bonus against this dude. And I'll kill that pikeman or try. I should probably back up with that pikeman, but I kind of can't. Yeah, I'll just stay on that silver tile. Don't really have a big choice there. And the worker can get started on the mine. He should start talking after a few turns. So I'll just keep asking. But I kind of expected this pretty early in the game. I think I commented on that in like part one or something like that. It was pretty obvious that this is going to happen. Oh hey, I actually got a catapult for free, that was convenient timing. But that catapult is probably going to die on the next turn. Yeah, it will definitely die on the next turn. That was very unfortunate timing, I have to say. So, get started on a mine, or I could get a farm. I actually kind of need a farm instead. Now he will talk, so there we go, we got peace already. So I'm fine. But this is why I bought some extra units. You have to spot situations like this on Deity. If I didn't notice that army, I would have been screwed with no defenses in that city. And hey, the timing on that catapult was just perfect. I did lose two units, so that was a bit unfortunate. But he only pillaged one tile. He didn't even pillage my luxury resource. I'll keep the catapult inside the city. Now I could go on the offensive myself. I normally would, but I really have to prepare for Korea. Which means I'll have to ignore some of the key technologies. Like physics. I can't really go to war without physics and trebuchets. Because I won't have enough firepower. Barrage 1. Okay, I need to finish this road. This road is almost done. So this goes here, this dude will stay. Our assignments in this city? Not too great, I need to repair that farm. I need more food around this city in general. I need to get allied with Valletta. I can't do that without 500 gold, unless I discover a natural wonder. Which maybe I will. Would be nice. Right, you will stay here. Is that farm done? No, 8 turns. That would be a little bit too fast if it was done already. I almost got education. I will build university in Persepolis ASAP. But I'll probably keep my second city on military production. Because I'm going to need an army. Not just Frigis, but a land army too. Plus one. My capital is growing really nicely. It would grow even more if I had more farms around here. I should probably just get another worker. I could actually use another worker, especially since I lost one. But I'm about to get education, so I can't waste time on a worker in my capital. 
I could get a worker in Sulsa perhaps. But that's going to be 18 turns. Still, walls can wait. He won't declare the second war this fast, not to mention we have a peace treaty right now. Silver for ivory, sure. Yeah, that guy monopolized ivory in this game or something. He has like 7 or 8 ivory, which is pretty crazy. University. I should get Writer's Guild soon, but University is obviously a lot more important than that. Good timing on the barracks. As for next technology, that's going to be acoustics, since I need to get into Renaissance era as fast as possible. My defenses should be fine. Research agreement, I will actually agree. I need to get some research agreements with AIs other than Korea. Yes, I'm sure Pocatello is a nuisance. Yeah, this guy just tried to take my city, now he wants me to go to war with him? I don't think so, buddy. If I go to war, he's going to be with you, not with Pocatello. And there's the natural wonder, that will make me allied with Valletta, in fact. Any other city-states? Yes, Prague. And that's it. Okay, that's nice. Is the road done? Yes, it is. I should connect Susato. Not just for the gold, but also to be able to move my units faster. But I also need farms. I'm considering just buying a worker once I get enough money. I think that's going to be the best way. I could use two more workers. Honestly, I still want to... Oh, great. This guy started a city down there. Wow, this guy is seriously annoying. And the worst part is that I can't go to war with him. Because if I ignore Korea, I'm just going to lose this game. Heck, my opinion is that this game might already be lost. Because Korea is way too isolated. They will snowball out of control. I can guarantee that will happen. That's mostly because of how Korea's unique ability works combined with deity bonuses. The AI, I guess. So by the time I get frigates, he's actually quite likely to have battleships already. And it doesn't matter how good you are, you can't beat battleships with frigates. Not to mention cities with over 100 defense. You can't take cities like that with battleships, uh, with frigates, it's just not going to happen. I could, in theory, bring a land army or something, but I would have to start a city in this area. I could send a settler across the entire continent. That seems like a bit of a stretch, but I'm considering doing that. Yeah, I think I'll train a settler in here, once I'm done with the barracks. And send that settler across the entire continent. Heck, I could get some cotton. It doesn't have to be a coastal city, it just has to be a city somewhere nearby. So I can repair my units and things like that. And maybe get a citadel. It's a shame I didn't get a great general from this war with Askia. I wasn't really that close. But I can get a great general from policies in honor. Then with a the land army and a well-placed citadel, I would have a chance to take Seoul with a land army or some sort of land army. That might be a better option than getting frigates. 13. Wow, this city is really growing fast. And I'm still at 12. Happiness mostly because my cities are kind of bad. Then yeah, this is really annoying. I actually can't really get frigates because I have zero iron right now. And I don't think my border will grow this far anytime soon. Even if I buy the floodplains, that's a desert tile. And I think border growth only takes the base terrain into, into account. I will buy this regardless, but I don't think I'll get that tile anytime soon. Alright. Yeah, I need to connect this with the road. So let's get started on the road. It will take a while, but I need to be able to move my units around fast. Not just for the gold. Okay, barracks are almost done. I guess I can accept the embassy. He knows where my city is. So it doesn't really matter if I give him an embassy anymore. Really? Seriously, look at this guy. He's such an asshole as the AI. He's complaining about me settling next to him. He settled two cities right next to my capital. Come on. This guy is just... Seriously, I hate him. I don't even know. I hate him. He's one of the most annoying AIs in the game, easily. <sighs> oh well, at least I got a spy now. I'll send that spy to Korea. I don't really care about Korea's opinion. Seeing how 
I plan to declare war on them. <laughs> Alright, what can I get with this caravan? Probably just grab gold and science. I should stay friendly with William. I can't really afford going to war with William. I have other things to focus on. So that war will have to wait. Let's see, how fast can I get this settler? Like this, I should get a mine on that hill. And... 23 turns? 20 turns. I guess 20 turns is the best I can do. Alright. And then I'll just send that settler across the entire continent. It will take a while, but I'll get there eventually. I'll just need to have some kind of defenses in there. Just so Korea doesn't attack me. This is such a good location too. Yeah. I bet that was Korea building Machu Picchu. Not in their actual capital, but probably in some other city. His bonus only works if you get wonders in his capital though, I think. Can't really be bothered to check it right now, but he does get a science boost every time he builds a science related wonder or building. And there are a lot of those, especially later in the game. Plus one pop. I'm glad I got this city. Askia was very close to stealing this location from me, if you remember. Almost 14 pop. Very nice. At least I'm doing decent on science. How many turns? I need to wait. I need to steal some text from Korea. Research agreement. Yeah, I think I'll agree. I need research agreements, honestly. No, not this. Again. Silver. Yeah, 7 gold per turn. Just checking if that's not my last copy. Oh, what? He won't give me 7. Yeah, I'm really annoyed about these cities. And he's stealing my land. That's a tile that should be mine, really. Oh well. Oh hey, Sejong is plotting against Enrico. I guess I can share intrigue. Let's get that research agreement. There we go. So that's two research agreements. I won't have any bonuses for these research agreements, but at least I have them. Oh yeah, this pasture isn't actually completed. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Actually, I want this guy to declare war on that asshole. Maybe I can bribe him to go to war with him. No. Yeah, I'll try to bribe him. Looks like I have two useful quests in Ife, but that's not a very useful city-state. It's a religious one. So let's try to bribe Askia. I do have 46 gold per turn right now. So let's see, will he declare war? On Ram Kang, whatever. No, he won't. Oh well. I won't be declaring war myself. I don't really want to do that. I don't have time to take these cities. I just really don't. I'm not even sure if that would be possible. Let's have a look at the ranking. He's actually not that far ahead of me. Hmm. But yeah, Korea is almost the technology leader already. I'm pretty sure they will have battleships by the time I get frigates. So my only chance is to try to get a land army here. While it's still possible to beat them. I'm not even sure if I can bring an army across the entire Pangea in time. I don't actually have an army yet and... Well, I can't really focus on military technologies because I would have to severely neglect my science. And neglecting your science when you have Korea in your data game is bad times. I actually have no idea what to do about this. That's why I said earlier that I think this game was done the moment I discovered Korea. And by that I don't mean that it will be hard. It will likely be legitimately impossible. I've seen games that were actually legitimately impossible on DT due to Korea's positioning on the map, especially on larger maps. This is a standard size map, so I could see it happening. But if you were playing on large or huge map, and you had Korea on the other side of that map, there's no way you would get to them in time. Still technology. Okay, I guess I'll grab guilds. That seems to be the most expensive technology that I can grab. Alright, give me guilds. 
Six more turns. Okay, at least I'm stealing technologies from Korea very rapidly. So that's going to help quite a bit. That's one thing Korea is good for, stealing technologies from them. Their capital usually has massive potential. And wow, that's a really nice shade round. So my worker is done. I will get the city walls because I'm going to need them. And I could definitely use more mines, more farms. Did I ever finish that farm? No, I did not. Okay, then. Yeah, Tyler Sunmans here aren't great, but they won't be better until I finish the farms. University in my capital is almost done. And yeah, Venice was captured by Carthage. That's actually good for me. Also, I'm just going to show you. Because some people said that you can trade one horse for two gold per turn. No, you can't. The AI won't accept. This has been my experience every single time I tried this. I never had AI accept horses. They accept one horse for two gold per turn deal even once, ever. I've never had it happen in my games and I tried multiple times. So it has to be extremely situational when the AI accepts that. In my practice, the AI just doesn't accept that. Yeah, I think I'll just tell him my agents go where they please because I don't plan to stop spying on him. He's going to be the best source of new technologies. University is done. Okay, so I'm just going to redo all of these assignments to make it less confusing. So remove all of this cramp. Assign the specialists. And oh yeah, as for the queue, I should probably get the market. Yeah, let's grab the market. I need to build up an army, but I also can't neglect my infrastructure. So all of these starts with food. This one, this one. That leaves me with two doors. I can get one food per turn from these stars with silver, so that's the best thing to work right now. Oh, is there a barbarian camp over there? Looks like it. Okay. Continue this road. Oh yeah, I might as well finish that stupid pasture. And finish that farm. Alright. How's my influence with Valletta? 68. I need to stay allied with Valletta. If Aska declares war on me, Valletta will act as a distraction. Yeah, maintain that friendship. I need to maintain declarations of friendship with both William and Dido. And since Dido has a direct border with Korea now, or well, do they have a direct border? Venice is pretty close to Korea, so I might be able to get Dido to fight Korea. I kind of have to. Yes, she will do it for 11 gold per turn. That's a bit too much. I might wait a few turns. Maybe she needs to recover from the previous war. But I'll wait a few turns and then try again. I need to get them to fight. Preferably get Dido to win that war. I need to weaken Korea before it's too late. I still plan to send my settler here. Because at least I can get some cotton. There's Renaissance era. So is that pasture done already? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, hey, I could actually grab this worker. Oh, I should have looted that camp already. Oh, well, maybe I'll do it on the next turn. Yeah, that pikeman will probably attack my chariot archer. 15 population. Yeah, my capital is going to be huge in this game. I can't work any good tiles with food anymore unless I work this one. I'd rather just work the silver at this point, or the gold, in fact. This tile has zero food, so I might as well work the gold. That's more production. Alright then. So, next research. This is actually a pretty tough choice. If I want to use the land army, then I'm going to need physics. I'm going to need banking, regardless, because that unlocks my special building, the Satraps Court, and it's pretty damn good. I definitely want banking, so Shibari will be first, and I wouldn't mind a castle in Sosa. I'm pretty sure Askia will try to declare war on me again, especially since he has his unique unit now, the Mandekalu Cavalry. The AI tends to get aggressive once it gets access to his unique unit. Do I want a boss with this asshole? Not really, I'll take that worker. <laughs> I could actually use an extra worker right now. So, 8 more turns for that settler. 
I'm having some dubs whether this is such a good idea, but I'm still going to do it. I should be able to settle a city somewhere around here without getting a diplomatic penalty. If I don't settle too aggressively, I will scout this area a little bit more. I don't need to be that close to Seoul, I just need to have some kind of city to station my units in and be able to heal them up faster and maybe get a citadel. I will probably need a citadel if I decide to use a land army. Speaking of which, I kind of can't go for warrior code right now, I need to unlock rationalism ASAP. I don't think I'll be able to get the porcelain tower, Korea will probably steal that long before I get a chance to get it. But we'll see. If I decide to use the land army, I don't have to go for navigation. I could still use frigates as support, which I might or might not do, but I haven't actually decided yet. So let's have a look at the technology ranking. I will actually steal a technology in one turn, so I'll wait for that. No, I'm not giving you open borders. Well, that's open borders from him, which I will actually need in a moment. So yes, I do actually need that. Come here. Oh, another worker. Okay. Thanks for the worker. Oh yeah, I can't actually get there. Maybe on the next turn. I don't really need this missionary. Oh, my spy was killed. Well, that kind of sucks. That was a little bit unlucky, in fact. That was very unlucky. Oh well. I'll get another replacement spy soon. But yeah, I don't actually need this missionary. Because that's not my religion. Yeah, I'm not going to stop spying on you. Forget about it. I'll just disband that missionary. Give me that worker. Thanks. I'll take the units. I don't care about this asshole's opinion. So, hold on. Yeah, I definitely don't want this missionary. Or do I? I don't think it's useful to station a missionary in your city. You need an inquisitor for that. Oh, great. Dutch great prophet? Seriously? I don't want your dirty religion. Does this religion actually have something useful? Not really. Nothing I can faith by anyway. Does anyone have piety in this game? I don't actually think so. So no one has any reformation beliefs. No one has piety. Okay, Pocatello has two in piety. Okay, Sejong has five. That's probably for Jesuit education. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother checking that. I'm not giving you 300? Are you crazy, woman? No way. I kind of like my gold. Speaking of which... How's Valetta? 64. I'll have to give them some money soon. I think I'll just give them 500. Also, since they are specialized in Minutemen, I could beeline for gunpowder and get some Minutemen from them. Obviously, I'm nowhere close to gunpowder right now, but it's a strategy. Then I could get chemistry and attack Korea with Minutemen and cannons. That's not the worst idea I've ever had. Yeah, I think that's a pretty decent idea. I might do that. Let's keep exploring here. So how many workers do I have now? Like five? Four workers. Okay, that should be enough for three cities. So what do I need here? I need some more food, so let's get started on more farms. This guy will stay there. And continue that road. And yet another worker. More farms? Yeah, I need more food in this city, so that's going to be a farm. Let's have a look at the assignments real quick. I can optimize this a little bit more. Actually, no, not really. Unless I get one food, one production, which is pretty awful. Alright. Actually, hold on. I can work the horses instead. That's one food and three production. I should get a stable in here. But that would work better if I had the horse right here. I still want to steal these tiles with a great general. New unit from Valletta. Nice. A pikeman. Hey, I'll take it. The more you need, the better. I need to get that gunpowder faster, though. And give me a new spy. Yeah, that was really unfortunate that my spy got killed this early in the game. Because this is when you can steal the most technologies. So this was actually a major setback for me. 
But yeah, Korea is already in the lead. I'm nine technologies behind. That spy getting killed might have screwed me over in this game right now because I'm going to miss out on at least several technologies. I was stealing one technology every six turns. And when Korea enters new eras, it will eventually become impossible to steal anything from them. So, barracks here. I need to get Heroic Epic. Probably, or well, at least I should. Yeah, I still don't know whether this game is actually going to be possible or not. It will depend on whether I can slow Korea down or not. So, let's get Dido to the war. Maybe she'll do it for less gold per turn now. Oh, now she won't do it at all. Okay. Really? Well, that kind of sucks. Oh well. I guess I'll just keep trying. I wasn't going to give her the amount of gold she asked for earlier. Let's grab banking. Come on, give me a new spy. This really sucks. That spy getting killed was the biggest science setback in this game right now. Because I'm really missing out on several technologies right now. It really sucks in a big way. But there's nothing you can do about that. This just comes down to pure luck. Whether your spy will get killed or not. Yes, I know Aske is plotting against me. Tell me something new and exciting. Right, well. What's that? Did I get a spy? Yes, I did. So let's send him to Seoul again. Maybe he won't get killed this time. Yeah, look at that potential. Massive potential in that city. So, Garden, Colosseum, my happiness is fine. I need to get started on units. I should get Writer's Guild, honestly. But I don't have time for that, really. I think I have to start spamming some units. However, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.